Hi guys, welcome back to another video. So today we're gonna check out a house here in Nevaisiha. This house was recently built about six months ago. We want to give you guys an idea how much it costs to build a house nowadays here in the province. And this house costs, get this, 1.2 million pesos to build. By the way, this car costs more than the house. check out what a 1.2 million pesos can build you. The land is theirs, it's just the actual renovation. This is not sponsored in any way and this house is not for sale, somebody's living there. We just want to check it out. Now actually this is owned by one of our um, relatives. So, pasok na tayo! can see there's a little pathway before you go inside the house you can do like a little runway walk like this but before you go in so because you know sometimes in life you just kind of have to walk it out so also when you guys do your grocery shopping um, it's kind of like a bit of a walk so you might as well enjoy the journey right if it's heavy you know instead of rushing it you can like sway it a little bit you know lean back lean back. <laughs> there's a couple of nice steps here and they put um, what is this called some sort of like tiles let's go in so uh, before you go in okay so pardon the mess <laughs> But let's move in here because this is a little bit cleaner on the cleaner side. Okay guys, this is porcelain. I thought this was granite. But it looks really nice. And then these are the pillars. Yeah, the pillars look nice. And then this is the front porch. Uh, this is where they chill out most of the time pag medyo, you know, mainit or pag uh, mag gusto na magpahangin and you got a nice view of the coconut trees. I love how it's like super open and you can see the road over there from the front porch. So this is a mini compound. There are five houses in total within this compound and it's kind of like it gives you that homey vibe because you have a neighbor right there, you have a neighbor right there. So, kung gusto mo mga bahay, dito ka lang, sigaw, sigaw ka lang. Hello, hello, hello. Yeah. You never feel alone in this kind of uh, setup. Okay. All right, finally, we can go in. Before we go in, nice windows. It's mirror windows, so no one can see you from the inside, but you can see them, right? So this is a good idea. We have so, sort of like something like this in the in our gym, and um, you can like just blast it all open, and no one can see you. Okay, so let's go in. Lazada, Shopee, wala po ang pera. So let's admire the door first. And next, here is the living room. Nice and cozy. There's not a lot of people living here. This is like the perfect size for them. And um, you can tell that everything is kind of like laid out intentionally. This is more like to, to gather, to socialize, or to just to relax. It's so comfy. So here, moving on to the kitchen. Here is where the magic happens, guys. Look at the sink. This is where you wash away all your sins. I mean, Goes all the way up to the backsplash there. It's really nice and clean looking. It's easy to clean too. Pag nago wipe ka, hindi lang yung ganang ganon. Kailangan ganon kayo magwipe. Kaya ito dun yun. Ito na to. So the dining area. Um, kailangan yung placemat na sa loob para maprotect tahan, right? Na sa loob dapat yan. Pagkatapos mo kumain, takbo na! Kaya andyan yan. Every Filipino table has the necessary fruits. And here we got some mango, some lakatan banana. And these are fresh from the tree, as I was told. These you can already eat. We had this sitting on our kitchen countertop for like the longest time because we were waiting for it to ripen. To ripen. It never turned yellow. It never turned yellow. And then eventually we had to throw it out because apparently it was overripe. So there are different kinds of banana, guys. No, we're not going to open them up anymore, but there's still a lot of room for other knickknacks. Yes. 
So now we're gonna check out the most anticipated, the dirty kitchen. Maduming kusina, guys. Uh, this is pretty clean for a dirty kitchen. And champa kilang me fan kasi ma ini dito insan. It's fully functional, guys. It's working as we speak. Look at the insulation, guys. They put that in there well thought out so it doesn't get too hot here. We got a lot of storage here. Nice and neat. It's so clean and organized. Here is just the back uh, entrance. Jetmatic is automatic poso, right? Diba? Oh, automatic. So everything's connected. They just take the water from there. Mm -hmm. Or, I don't mean, get mm -hmm. The Machine? But if you have no current, this is good. This is nice. And look at the tiles. Guys, um, yeah, hindi kayo madudulas dito. Para kasi nat natatapunan ng tubig tal sik tal sik, so you never worry about slipping. Um, we were just talking about how these tiles are meant for outdoor or like for slippery areas, so you don't ever have to worry about incidents. So you got a lot of um, air coming in. Hindi siya kulob. Oh, mm -hmm. I took a high ceiling chef, so even if it's like you know not a huge space it still feels big because of the ceiling height and that's what I was telling uh, my parents you know when they're constructing their house it really helps to have like a high ceiling to give you that illusion okay we're gonna go back in Did you see the blinds? Let's check out the blinds. Oh, this is like what we have in Canada. Yeah. Ah. Okay. You guys see the picture. But yeah, this is nice. And then in the in the rooms they have different types of blinds. So let's check it out. So this is one of the rooms. This is the point cross stitch. Um, it takes forever. It takes a million years to uh, finish that. Staying here, let's look at the tile here. I love the whole like big tile look. It really gives off that modern feel. And these are the blinds that I was talking about, the zebra blinds. Kung gusto niyo ng coverage, kanya lang. Pero kung gusto mo ultimate blackout, boom, we gotta align it up. Sorry. Keep your monkey safe. Oh, keep your monkey safe. Okay. Yeah. yeah, keep blankety safe. Oh, ski, sky is exploring already. What do you see? Kasha ang kasha si Sky sa loob. Pasok ka na. Like na. Hide and seek. Nice, sturdy container for clothes. Hindi na po natin titingnan yan. Now is the bathroom. I think for the past couple of months, we realized that one of the essential things to purchase for your home is a water heater. And that's what we see in this bathroom because at night, the water gets super duper cold. And you're fr when you're from the outside, you're all like hot and everything. And then if you have that, as I was saying that the water heater is an essential part of the house here because at the end of the day when you want to go shower, having the cold water on your body is like a sharp knife stabbing you all over. Um, right now we we boil our water in the kettle and then um, transfer it to our timba. Um, but it would be super handy if we have a water heater just like in the hotels here in the Philippines. So yeah, let's go check out the last bedroom, second bedroom. Okay, so there is a there's somebody in the bedroom here, so we're not gonna check that out anymore. But it's 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 kind of like the same size as the other one. This house is a two bedroom, one bathroom house. It's made specifically for the people who are about to move in here. This is the perfect size for them, guys. And in my opinion, it's really nice, modern, clean looking. So there you have 
have it guys you've seen a 1.2 million million you've seen a 1.2 million pesos house again that's just the cost of renovation they already own this land they've been living on this land for the longest time so the 1.2 million pesos is just the cost of the construction you know kind of like renovation revamping it they basically had to build it from the ground up again um, but the foundations were there and uh, yeah hopefully that um, that's very informative this car is 2.2 million pesos guys 2.2 million pesos and the house is 1.2 million pesos so that's 1 million pesos difference Hopefully this video gave you uh, sort of like a baseline on how much things cost nowadays. Again, this is just in the province. I think it helps that you know somebody, um, right? Because you can get some sort of like discount um, or discount on materials, especially if you guys go way, way back. But that's it for today's vlog. Um, we'll see you guys next time with M and Sky. Simple Life, we out. Uh -huh.